Question number 141. Heart of cockroach consists of elongated muscular tube lying along line of thorax and abdomen. Select the option which fills the blank correctly. And the options are mid-dorsal, mid-ventral, lateral and dorsolateral. And we know that cockroach is an invertebrate. And invertebrates have dorsal heart in comparison to chordates or vertebrates which have ventral heart. So option number two midventral and option number three lateral cannot be the correct answers. And in between option number one mid dorsal and option number four dorsal lateral, option number one mid dorsal is a correct answer to our question. As you can see here, cockroach has mid dorsal because they are invertebrates, they have dorsal heart. It has mid dorsal heart lying along line of thorax and abdomen. The last option dorsolateral cannot be a correct answer because the heart lies mid dorsal. So the correct answer to this question is option number one. Let's discuss our next question. Question number 142. A person eats 10 gram of butter, 10 gram of pulses and 50 gram rice. The person also eats 5 gram of spinach along with 100 ml water. Gross calorific value of food consumed by the person is and the options are 380 kilocalorie, 356 kilocalorie, 330 kilocalorie or 500 kilocalorie. Before attempting this question, we must know the calorific values of carbohydrate, protein and fats and they are 4.1 kilocalorie per gram, 5.65 kilocalorie per gram and 9.45 kilocalorie per gram respectively. For roughage in water, there is zero calorific value. Now, in the diet, a person consumes 50 gram of rice, which is a source of carbohydrate, Total energy released due to consumption of carbohydrate is 50 into 4.1 which is equivalent to 205 kilocalories. Now this person consumed 10 gram of pulses which is a source of protein. So total protein would be 10 into 5.65 equals to 56.5 kilocalories. This is kilo calorie. And next is he consumed 10 gram of water which is a source of fats. So this would be equal to 10 into 9.45 equals to 94.5 kilocalorie. And then he consumed 5 gram of spinach and 100 ml of water. Spinach is a source of roughage and this spinach and water do not provide any energy but acts as a source of what? It acts as a source of roughage and as solvent respectively. So this would be 5 into 0 equals to 0. So total gross calorific value of food consumed by this person would be 356 kilo. Calorie. So the correct answer to this question is option number 3, 356 kilo calorie. Now let's proceed to the next question. Question number 143, select the incorrect match with respect to site of action on the given substrate, the enzyme acting upon it and the end product. And the very first option is small intestine is the site of action of given substrate nucleoside and the enzyme is nucleotidase and the end product given is nitrogenous base and as it is an incorrect match so this is a correct answer to our question because in small intestine it's not nucleotidase but nucleosidase that acts on substrate nucleosides and convert it into nitrogenous base. The next match given is small intestine, substrate is dipeptides, enzyme is dipeptidase and amino acids are the end product. And as it is a correct match, so this cannot be a correct answer to our question. Next match given is stomach is the site of action on given substrate protein for the enzyme pepsin. Yes, this is correct. And the end products are proteoses and peptones. And as it is also a correct match, so this cannot be a correct answer to our question. And the next reaction given is in buccal cavity or oral cavity, polysaccharides are converted into disaccharides in presence of salivary amylase. And as it is also a correct match, so this cannot be a correct answer to our question. So the correct answer to this question is option number one. Let's discuss our next question. Question number 144. 
deficiency of which of the following vitamin causes megaloblastic anemia and the options are pantothenic acid nicotinic acid ascorbic acid or folic acid and the correct answer to this question is option number 4 folic acid folic acid or vitamin b9 is essential for the formation of rbcs and deficiency in vitamin b9 causes megalo plastic anemia let's discuss rest of the options the very first option is pantothenic acid and this cannot be a correct answer because pantothenic acid or vitamin b5 deficiency in this vitamin causes dermatitis and deficiency in vitamin b5 retards growth loss of hair and graying of hair the next option is ascorbic acid and this cannot be a correct answer to our question because ascorbic acid or vitamin c its deficiency causes scurvy and the next option is nicotinic acid and this cannot be a correct answer because nicotinic acid or vitamin b3 deficiency in this vitamin causes pellagra so the correct answer to this question is option number 4 let's discuss our next question question number 145 in humans route passage of air from lungs to atmosphere is the very first option given is alveoli to bronchioles to bronchi to trachea then to larynx followed by pharynx and nasal cavity and as it is a correct route passage of air from lungs to atmosphere so this is a correct answer to our question as you can see here in this diagrammatic representation of human respiratory system air is inhaled through nares to reach nasal cavity from where it passes down to pharynx followed by larynx and then to trachea and this trachea divides into bronchi into primary bronchi secondary bronchi and then tertiary bronchi and these bronchioles lead eventually to alveoli alveoli is the actual site of gases exchange so the route from lungs to atmosphere is alveoli bronchioles bronchi trachea larynx pharynx and nasal cavity let's discuss rest of the options the next option given is alveoli from lungs to atmosphere alveoli bronchi to bronchioles no then from trachea to pharynx and then to larynx no and then into nasal cavity and as it is an incorrect route passage so this cannot be a correct answer to our question the next option is from alveoli to bronchioles yes then to bronchi and then to trachea to pharynx and then to larynx and this is incorrect and then to nasal cavity and as it is also an incorrect passage because from trachea air passes from larynx to pharynx and then to nasal cavity and then to atmosphere so this cannot be a correct answer to our question and the last passage given is alveoli to bronchi then to bronchioles no because it is from bronchioles to bronchi then to trachea larynx pharynx and nasal cavity so this cannot be a correct answer so the correct answer to this question is option number 1 let's discuss our next question 